Hi, my name is Fabrizio Cross and this is the Electrum Light Electric Vehicle. I set out almost 20 years ago to design a vehicle that incorporated as many of the advantages of a car onto a bicycle platform while still remaining legally and exercise wise a bicycle. I didn't want to create an electric motorcycle that simply had pedals stuck on as an afterthought. I was looking for the true exercise benefits of a bicycle and yet I wanted to be able to do as many of the things that a car could do as possible. Things like carry cargo or passengers, things like have some partial weather protection. As well, I wanted the riders to be able to decide how much exercise they got. If you're going into work, you often need to arrive there not covered in sweat. But on your way home, you might like to exercise a little bit more. The Electrom incorporates a generator drive that allows the rider to pedal as much or as little as they want. And this feature, I think, will really help people in their daily quest to maintain activity as well as environmental consciousness and convenience. So please join me as we do a walk around and in-depth exploration of the Electrum. The vehicle we're looking at is the fourth prototype of the Electrum. It has over 4,700 kilometers of testing over two and a half years and has performed very well. The Electrum uses a long wheelbase recumbent riding position with understeer handlebars. This is widely acknowledged as one of the most comfortable riding positions for this type of vehicle. The Electrum looks like a big vehicle, but its narrow profile allows it to slip through traffic and go anywhere that a bicycle can go. Like a car or a motorbike, the drivetrain and all of the wires on the Electrum are safely enclosed inside the frame and body. The Electrum has a full complement of built-in LED lights and turn signals, and the production version will have even more lights for increased safety. Well, that completes our walk around of the Electrum. Now let's have a closer look at some of the components. The Electrum legally qualifies as an e-bike in most areas. It has an adjustable controller that allows you to set speed and power limits to match your local laws. It runs a 72 volt battery system that is easily charged in about three hours off of regular house current. The charge port is here. And on the handlebars, we have all of our controls. We have our turn signals here as well as a horn and brake lights. Steering is via understeer, rear view mirrors. For a dashboard, we have the Cycle Analyst V3 by Grin Technologies. This incredible device allows the user to know their speed, distance traveled, and the state of charge of their battery, as well as a host of other features. The Cycle Analyst also allows the user to program their controller to set different requirements for different areas. Here we have the cargo hatch, where there is room for over 100 liters or 22 gallons of cargo. As well, this hatch removes and allows for the transportation of a passenger. Now let's have a look at one of the most innovative features on the Electrum, the generator drive. The generator drive splits the rider's energy and sends it in two directions. When the rider pedals, their energy goes to the back wheel via chain drive and helps bring the vehicle up to speed. Once the vehicle is over 10 kilometers per hour, that back chain drive is in freewheel mode and the rider's energy is going into an onboard generator, which is providing supplemental power to the battery. This system allows the rider to pedal at a constant cadence against a constant resistance without the need to shift through bicycle gears. It is a very convenient and easy system to use and is much like an automatic transmission for a bicycle. So let's take it out and I'll show you how it works. So, first we'll start off. So right now, I'm pedaling and you can see from the speedometer that we're going at about seven kilometers per hour. And my energy is going into the back wheel. Now, we're at about 10, 13, 14 kilometers per hour and my energy is just going into a generator. Let's head over to a steep hill and see how it works in practice. Okay, so here we are back out on the road. I'm going up a minor hill and I'm just pedaling against the generator. But we're about to go up a really steep hill. In a moment you'll see how the generator drive works. So here we are turning up. And I believe this one is steep. So here we go. Climbing up, I'm slowing down and slowing down. And now I'm at about what am I doing? Eight kilometers per hour, and I'm helping the motor plumb our way up this hill. 
It's a great workout too. This is one of the steepest hills in the area where I live. It's probably about 30% grade. Just getting over, now we've crested. The hill is getting gentler and we're speeding up. We're above 10 kilometers per hour now. And now my energy is actually going back into the generator and I'm pedaling freely. One of the most innovative features of the Electrum is the forward mounted center stand. This combined with the low 17 inch step over height and the tilt away front fairing makes getting on and off of the Electrum extremely easy. The rider is able to simply accelerate off of the stand while leaving, and when they return from their ride, it is very easy to deploy the stand from a seated position to get off the bike without having to hold it up. The Electrum's rear cargo area holds over 100 liters or 22 gallons of cargo. Let's see what that looks like. That's 12 loads of toilet paper, and four liters of peanut butter, a bag full of groceries, two liters of ice cream, another bag of groceries, a full-size baguette, eight liters of milk, and one growler of beer. With the removal of the Electrum's rear cargo hatch, one can carry a passenger. Taking the hatch off is simple and requires only one hand to release the catch. The Electrum can carry older children or small adults, and with the addition of a bicycle child carrier, you can carry smaller children. The Electrum's two-wheel design allows it to be very narrow. At just 22 inches wide, the Electrum is able to take advantage of a bicycle's ability to go past stalled traffic and get to the front of the line. Another advantage of the two-wheel design is it allows the Electrum to carve through corners like a bicycle or motorcycle. This makes it extremely nimble and very fun to ride. The elevated pedaling station also means that you don't have to worry about pedal strike while going through corners, so you can pedal all the time. This adds to the joy and the exercise. One final advantage of the Electrum that I would like to tell you about is weather protection. The front fairing and footwells of the Electrum fully protect the rider's legs and feet from the rain. What this means is when you're going out for a ride, you need only put on a jacket and a helmet. You don't have to bother with special pants or booties. If you watch in this video, you'll see that the rain is accumulating on the lens of the camera and on the jacket of the rider, but there's no rain getting on the pants. Thanks a lot for taking the time to watch this explanation of the Electron project. The vehicle you've been watching in these videos is our fourth and final prototype. We hope to bring a production model to market soon, and there will be a few differences, which we'd like to tell you about now. The Electron production version will have a welded aluminum frame, as well as 20-inch outer diameter wheels, which will be larger than the existing prototype wheels. It will have 100 millimeters or 4 inches of front and rear suspension travel, as well as a fiberglass and carbon fiber body panels and tail box. Included will be a USB charge port and cell phone mount, as well as electronic security features and a key switch. Base range of the Electron 1 will be up to 100 kilometers, with 300 kilometers possible with extra batteries. The Electron 1 will have regenerative braking and hydraulic disc brakes, and will run the Grin Technologies programmable 72 volt 40 amp controller and cycle analyst V3 console. The production model will be able to accommodate riders ranging in size from 1 meter 52 centimeters or 5 foot up to 2 meters or 6 foot 10. It will still have over 100 liters or 22 gallons of secure waterproof cargo space and a full set of headlights, turn signals, brake lights and a horn. The Electron 1 is designed around a recumbent riding position that is extremely comfortable especially on longer trips. The design also puts the majority of the vehicle's weight close to the ground, which makes for superior center of gravity and handling compared to an upright e-bike. 
A low step-over height of only 17 inches combined with a tilt-away front fairing and quick-deploy center stand will make getting on and off the Electrom a snap. All aspects of the vehicle chain drive system will be enclosed inside the body, so there's no worry about chain grease on clothing. And finally, the Electrom will be available with a number of different drive options to suit local laws. Thanks again for watching, and we hope to have your support on our Indiegogo campaign.